After what feels like an eternity, Overwatch League Season 2 is nearly upon us. Along with some returning players, there are tons of new talent and faces joining the league. So before the next season officially begins, we would like to help catch everyone up and go over the 8 new expansion teams that will be joining the 2019 season of the Overwatch League. The Guangzhou Charge are one of the three Chinese teams joining the Overwatch League in Season 2. During the preseason on August 2, 2018, Blizzard announced that the Nenking Group, a Chinese conglomerate with a history in sports team management based in Foshan and the Guangzhou area, had purchased the Guangzhou spot for the upcoming 2019 Overwatch League season. Later, on November 8, the Guangzhou Charge would reveal its branding. Their logo, a stylized teal GZ with the words Guangzhou Charge. The logo itself is simple, almost appearing like it belongs to a sports team. However, the name itself does carry with it a deeper meaning, which was explained by their chairman, Sunny Xiao. We chose Charge because it expresses our vision to lead the esports movement in China and to be at the forefront of innovation. It also expresses our vision for a competitive team that plays aggressive and bold. As for the team itself, the Charge has built a truly international team with members from Korea, the USA, China, and the UK. Much of the team's core comes from the Korean contenders team Meta Bella, who have been consistently placed in the top four of the region and who reportedly had access to English tutoring. As such, their English is better than the average Korean player, and given the mixed culture of the team, this could prove to be vital in developing this international lineup synergy. They've also acquired DPS support pairs from both LGD and Toronto Esports. While none of the teams comprising the charge have recently won a championship in their region, all have plenty of relevant high-level tournament experience. The decision to scout support DPS duos from across the world leads us to believe that the charge plan to become an aggressive DPS-focused team, living up to their name. However, this results with tanks being a necessary afterthought, leaving the team consisting of 4 DPS and 4 supports, but only 2 tanks. Regarding the individual players themselves, first and foremost is Happy, who is part of the Metabellum core that was signed. However, most importantly, he is the only hitscan DPS on the team, not counting a surprise flex by Shu. Happy is without a doubt one of the strongest hitscan players entering the league this season. While most of the roster may be viewed as developing talent, Happy stands out as a potential DPS carry for the team. Should the meta return to 2-2-2, we can expect to see a lot of happy from Guangzhou. The aforementioned Shu comes from the late Toronto Esports Contenders team that disbanded following Toronto Defiance entry into the Overwatch League and the brief drama that followed. Shu has been a star flex support player, but has also shown the ability to flex onto Widowmaker when the situation demands. Shu's playmaking and flexibility may be what helps push the charge into the top of the rankings. Eileen is one of the two Chinese players on the team coming from LGD Gaming, who have been one of the top Chinese teams for the first two seasons of Overwatch Contenders China. Eileen is one of the strongest DPS players from his home region, known for his phenomenal projectile DPS play, namely an amazing Genji, as well as a solid Sombra. He'll be joined by his LGD teammate and the only other Chinese player on the charge roster, Only Wish. Maintaining a support duo from the same team should help ensure the support line is in sync. As for how they will work alongside the rest of their team remains to be seen. Kib from the British Hurricane is one of the two native English speakers on the team, and from the most recent World Cup, we got to see the Englishman perfectly at home in the tanky GOATS meta thanks to his flexible hero pool. His acquisition will be incredibly valuable if the next season of Overwatch League is played in a GOATS meta, although it will be interesting to see how both he and Nero will be integrated into the team. As for Nero, he was previously of Toronto Esports and is a young player with plenty of potential as a capable flex DPS, but he is one of the two players on the roster that will need to wait until he turns 18 to actually play, the other being Rise from Metabellum, a similarly talented youngster. Rise's teammate, Rio, also from Metabellum, will be the main tank for the charge. He'll be tasked with taking charge and setting the tempo for the team. Rio being from Metabellum should have natural chemistry with most of the team, hopefully helping their overall synergy and reducing the team's adjusting time. He also played particularly well against the Soul Dynasty during their show match, and at moments outclassing Fissure, one of the most respected main tanks from the inaugural season. Rounding out the Metabellum core, we have Shara, a top-tier support and a player capable of playing every support hero at a high level. 
The final roster member is the team's only Overwatch League veteran, Hotba, a DPS turned flex tank that previously played for the Philadelphia Fusion last season. While we saw a lot of tank play from him throughout the previous season, during the playoffs, Hotba displayed some of his DPS prowess and came up big for the Fusion. With his flexible hero pool, he'll assuredly become a valuable part of the charge. Being a new expansion team, the odds are against the charge. They have a DPS heavy lineup with a talented but developing roster, on top of having a team with players that have three distinct mother tongues. But come February 15th, we'll get a good chance to see if the charge live up to their namesake.